we've taken an approach to reduce social isolation of older people by building age-friendly communities. And within this, microfunding underpins our whole approach. It's giving control of the spending to people in communities to make lots of changes in the place they live, to make it easier to keep and build connections. And that was something that was key for us, is making sure that people felt that they could actually um, solve a problem, fix something, work through something, and have a voice in their community where they feel passionate about and live and love that local area. And they've been able to make a difference now there because of this microfunding pot. We're investing in communities, we're not delivering services. It's about encouraging the groups to have the confidence so they can decide what they need. They decide what they want, what they think will work in their areas. The application form is really simple. It just asks them um, a list of really simple questions and just asks them to fill in a basic cost breakdown um, on a sheet. So it's a lot more accessible. The Kickstart panel is a panel of older people who examine the microfunding we do. We give the money to the people, power to the people, so that there isn't any layers of bureaucracy in between. They can have some of the money the following week, mm. so it's, it's not a long process. I think that's key to making a difference. And it's really important as well to have a, a paid employee helping to coordinate the whole structure. So whenever there's been a monthly meeting, it's been about saying to people, you know, we've, we've put these through, what do you think? This is the progress. This is where we're up to. That's worked, that's not worked. Has anybody seen anything else work? Do we need to change anything? It feels like a real privilege to have worked with this group of older volunteers who just bring so much integrity and experience. They don't steer our decision making, you know, they, they are able to contribute extra information if we don't have it. I sometimes feel quite guilty about the fact I get more out of this in terms of satisfaction and reward than I put in in terms of agonising over the small print. It's been a wonderful experience for me. Anybody's welcome, everybody's welcome. We help each other, we kind of work together and it's, it's lovely. Most of us are over 50, obviously, so we don't need to be led by anybody. You know, we, we're capable of making decisions, I hope, at our age now. We're not isolated anymore. No. Everybody knows everybody's name. And we've got another lady now, she's 84, isn't she? And she said she only sits in her apartment all day looking out the window so she loves it now doing the garden so she'll come out and sit in the garden a lot of groups have never had that little pot of money before so that little pot of money has gone a long way and i think that helps it sustain because then there's enough people who really care about it and are passionate for what they've put a bid in for and then it meant that they want it to carry forward and they actually have creative ideas for how to make it sustainable we're building up a nice uh, kitty and it's basically for materials, so we've got a future, we've got a good future. The ability to use microfunding to take a real experimental test and learn approach creates a really rich data set which we can use then to understand what will work in the future. It wasn't just lip service being paid to the idea of older people, it really was older people steering the ship.